of going against the same. The enemy have fed you their right. propaganda. Death mode, where are you? You chilling in here? Yeah, you got your guards. Alright, so you join yourself a little magic circle. Oh crap, I, I chopped his leg off. Did I? I didn't even realise I did that. Dang. Geralt of Rivia, ready for the ride of your life. Can't handle this without me. You're a mutant, like this killer. An ordinary man would never survive Han Marvin's blue dream. You must drink a potion that will increase your heart's efficiency and strengthen your blood vessels. Hallucinogenic properties are also welcome as they will enhance the vision. Gadwall should do it. Necromancy's awfully fishy. What do you aim to do? Han Marvin's Blue Dream is a spell that grants you a glimpse of a dead man's memories. You'll see, feel, and taste what the killer experienced in his life. As a mutant, the operation isn't at all dangerous for you. Is that considered necromancy? I'm basically seeing his vis like his memories. Like ne I thought necromancy would be like bringing the corpse back to life, getting him to talk, sort of thing. You look your normal self. Have you had your fill of fortifying potions? It would be foolish if you died. Not just yet. Gadwall. Right, so I'm gonna get a Gadwall. Can I make that? Hello, game. I'd like to meditate, please. Gadwall, Gadwall, Gad, 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 Gad. I don't have a Gadwall. Which means I'm probably gonna have to go buy it. Wasn't there a herbalist somewhere around here? I'm sure he has the recipe. You. Okay, Gad Wall. There he is, Gad Wall. All right, let's make this then. Alchemy. Gadwall, I've got all the stuff, we'll make a few. Nice. Now I've got to drink the potions. Gadwall. Bunch of know-it-alls. I'm ready. Wonderful. The Blue Dream can be very useful, although it only lets you see the killer's recent past. Hope it's worth it. Pay attention to every detail, places, names, everything. Got it. Let's begin! Vekina Zanzala! Lost in that fog. Look at it this way. Nobody will find us here. Unless Henselt attacks Bergen despite the mist. <laughs> Hensel's not going to attack anyone ever again. <laughs> Always the opposite. <laughs>
footsteps. I love these traps. I know, I do too. Hensel behaves as if he wants to help us. What do you mean? You've seen him. He loves playing the soldier. He's everywhere. He's reckless. That bill will want him assassinated, like the others. Finally, some action. We've been skulking in these caves like bats. I'd rather be like a bat than slain by the king's mercenaries. What is it, Ox? Scared? I heard Deathmold never lets Hensel out of his sight, and now a witch is arriving again. One of him, three of us. But you know who it is. I know, damn it, but don't let it get to you. It's Triss Marigold who worries me. If she betrays that Sheila ordered us to get rid of Demerbend, things will get out of hand. So she is Weapon behind should it. Kill him. He should, but apparently he only kills kings. The Sheila ordered these guys to kill Denavand. Okay, interesting. Here at last. They're guarding the camp like it was a princess's chastity. Did you learn anything? The White Wolf has arrived at the Kedwini camp with Vernon Roach. Looks like he's Hensult's lackey now. I'd rather Hensult used others as his lackeys. With his amnesia, we're safe. Not so. That's exactly what makes him so dangerous. We have to be careful. Especially now we've broken off with Yorbeth and his bunch. There's something else. Sheila de Tanzerville. You're right. Our sorceress is playing hard. De Tanzerville has done her job. We don't need her anymore. We won't kill her. Not just yet. You know best. That's right. The main thing now is to get rid of Hansel. You'll go soon. What about you? I'm heading to Loch Nguyen. That's where things will be decided. We'll meet again soon, if you're careful. To drink a jug of wine and laugh about it? Who knows? Alright, so he's going to Loch Nguyen and obviously we killed one of the assassins. The other got away, so we have to find him still. But we'll probably... Palisade. We'll meet by the cave entrance. We'll probably end up having to go to the cave, I'm guessing, just to have a look for... Do you want everyone else to know? I don't know who told you, but... Oh, okay, I failed. <laughs> Is it over? Or do we, like, start again? Wake up! I'm dying to hear everything. What did you find out? They said Sheila de Tanzerville was an accomplice in the murder. Sheila? She was here while you were lying in a trance. She said she'd follow the second assassin. Do you remember anything else? They're hiding in the ravines. The other ones probably fled there. Our dead man should have a key on him. Do you remember anything else? There's no time to waste. I'll follow them. Good luck, Geralt. I'm sure I'll discover the more important information is the fact that I know where their hideout is and that she is behind it. I'm sure anything else that would have happened wasn't really super important. I still don't know where the fuck Audrin is. I can't talk to you either. Here, boy. How'd you do? Right, we have to go to the King's Stairs hideout, so let's go. There's a lot more guards now, though. Aldrin. I'm guessing they're, they're down that ravine where I accidentally ran into a troll. That's where I'm guessing their ravine is. See, there's one that I hadn't seen yet, and it's on this side of the fog. So... Most likely... That one. Whichever one that one was. I think it was over here? Maybe? Perhaps? We'll find out. No, oh, they're fighting ghosts, as I say. Don't know what's going on there, there. I'm sure they can handle it. They are soldiers of an army. Never mind, this ravine leads to a complete dead end. What is even the point of it? God damn it. Wasting my time. Put a 
rocking in front of this place, have it as a giant wall. It sounds like they're fighting monsters, ghosts. Jeez, them soldiers had an unlucky day. They're most likely not going to survive the fight. Oh, right now they're coming after me. Okay, I think it's this way. At least it must be this way. Yeah, it's this way. I remember. Wonder how many more. The loot from the visions even here when we killed the harpies because I I'm pretty sure I haven't been here before. You see, yeah, the harpies loot from the visions here. Something's inside, I can hear it moving around. A gargoyle, great. Oh, you're a tough guy, aren't you? Ow, that hurt. Oh yeah, shit, they had traps here, didn't they? Medallion's vibrating. What's... What's down this way? Locked. Okay. There's an even bigger guy here. Everything's on fire. Obviously Sheila covering for him most likely. Burned anything that was here. Oh jeez, you're a big guy, aren't you? The other assassin there dead. Girl. Fuck. to destroy the evidence. What evidence? 
We didn't want to leave you. What are you talking about? Nearly made it. Just think. The wild hunt. We could have freed the world of the omen of war. Flashback. September 13th, 1269, the Ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269, Sintra, the village of cold water, and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy, his parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270, the high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270, the Uruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals, all between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer. So they're obviously looking for a child. Someone between the age of 10 and 20. Wow, what's his sword like he had? He has notes. Uh... Okay. A diagram for a trap and a sword which isn't as good as my current one. Although it does have nice buffs. Hmm. A little bit less damage, but better buffs. And it can also have two mutagens rather than the one. I think overall it is better than my current weapon. Let me drop some of these damn feathers. And what else is pretty heavy? Uh, that stuff's quite heavy, but... Yeah, these things are heavy. There we go. Right now, I've got to go all the way back to Death Mold. That's a long run. Why couldn't I just have like a teleport back spell? Although Geralt doesn't like teleportation, but you know that. Back to the service option. Ow. Is there going to be a surprise out here waiting for me, or no? Nice. Oh, hello. A little surprise. Not one that I was exactly expecting. No, I was just basically like. Mercenaries or something, but not half naked people. Hit the freak. Well, I've used my one shot ability on someone else at the moment rather than a common bandit.
do some rolls. done that let's go talk to death mold and hopefully finally we can get the medallion and lift this damn fog spoiled my day did you get him sheila got to him first he's dead the bitch she's probably on the other side of the mist by now come on witcher we've got to remove that damn curse I got the medallion from the king, the one you were looking for. Here. Nice, another level up. Jeez, I'm just getting all the XP right now. I think I'm ready to lift the curse, I believe. See you. Uh, journal. So, the notes were sold, kept them for later. That has no f nothing at all. That's just that's just the main quest. That's the main quest. Wait for events to unfold. Talk to Death Mold, and then that's the main quest. So yep, yeah, that's all we have to do. I'm ready to lift the curse. I've got all the artifacts. Then there is a chance we will soon move against Edern, and you will recover your memory. I'll need your help, Sorcerer, to find the right ghosts. Ah, they will find you. The artifact's aura will lure them. Allow them to think, speak, and act. Then you will know what to do. Geralt, there's something else out there. I scanned the battlefield and noticed the visitor's ghost. It's different from the others. It's changed. A drog. I expected as much. Ah. Good luck, Witcher. Alright, so we're doing this. Alright, so since... It seems like we're going to have to fight the visitor, I'm guessing, if he's turned into a drog, which means we're probably going to get some loot off him. And this is probably a good chance for me to sell a bunch of stuff then. I think. And get myself ready for this. So I'm going to do that and then we will lift the curse.